Good afternoon. Um, there's going to be a somewhat of a departure in this uh, episode today because I shall, shall be reading from the um, Boiter Archive. Um, this will be a story from, I believe, somewhere around 1978. Uh, and it's called Cell Plantation 1997. So as you can see, set well in the future. A giant glass greenhouse in space. Cells multiplying, dividing, growing into living forms. Dr. Dick and Dr. Alex Peterson, two brothers, had trained at colleges, and actually says collages, colleges for years to get this job. They had to grow cells and distribute them into dead bodies, without cells, to bring the creature to life. They put all the old cells in a sort of dustbin. One day, a mistake was made that Alec would regret for the rest of his life. Alec had been experimenting with some chemicals and instead of putting them in the destroyer machine, he just dumped them in the bin when he was finished. Three hours later, something grew out of the bin, a horrible, slimy hand and a long tentacle tail. Four hours later, a small, and here I put an arrow to the following picture, came out of it. They were frightened as it ate cells and grew and grew until it was probably 20 metres high. By now it had claws and a horrible head. It was a lizard and you could see through parts of it. The doctors tried to get it under control but all they got was a kick in the face. The lizard was pounding the wall and trying to escape. Soon it would break through and the air would escape and the doctors would suffocate. Quickly they ran to the emergency capsules got in and shut the door. The lizard had by now cracked through the wall and was zooming into space until it disappeared into the hemisphere. I think I meant atmosphere. Air was rushing out of the laboratory and the pressure was crushing it. Psss, bang! The laboratory blew up and all the cells threw, flew through space until they came to planets. The cells multiplied and gradually other races of monsters evolved. Meanwhile, back in the space capsule, Dick and Alec zoomed to Earth. They landed in a Zulu village and were picked up by helicopter. In 2000 years, it was reported that a race of lizards were living on a planet further away than Pluto. They were descendants of that one lizard that was created in the space lab. One notable thing about that story is that there's me in 1978 predicting the existence of a planet beyond Pluto. And I think I meant a planet that is orbiting Earth, orbiting the Sun. And I believe they have discovered planetoids orbiting the Sun beyond Pluto. So I uh, would like to take credit for that discovery and I shall be expecting my Nobel Prize in the post. I'll see you again with a slightly more up-to-date story very soon.